Hey guys, giving away a switch on my channel this month and in November, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment on the video because the comment is what gets you an entry into the competition. Claytano, my boy, is giving away a PS4 on his channel, so you can go and do the same thing over there and have another chance to win a console this month. <laughs> that means that... <laughs> if you can have it really quiet, it shouldn't get picked up. Hopefully. If not, everybody gets to listen to the programme about Sainsbury's, a supermarket from the UK. Yes, right now. Okay, absolutely no idea what I'm going right now, of course. Some of the we've been offered. And it's all rubbish. Shining out sure I can but I think I'd rather just take this for the time being. What do we got on offer? Soul Breakers, same as me. This guy's going to pick up a Hell Knight. This guy's going to that. Okay. Rupert might join the conversation at some point because he's trying to escape from his cot. Being a grumpy boy. So, let's have a look. We've got Magic Crystal and Ring of Life. We've also got some bits for a frantic mask. That gives us the goblin bonus. That's pretty good. We actually have a lot of options with this build right now. Although goblin's star is always nice. Ideally, would like a two star. Um, so, I'm just going to explain why I picked everything. Pick these three for obvious reasons. They're goblins. Pick these two because I could transition into Beast Warrior and pick this guy for, for the... Uh, potential likelihood of knights because there is only one guy going knights right now so we'll have to see <laughs> have i got any headphones you could borrow not plug-in ones unfortunately um, so items are pretty open right now i've got a little bit of everything going here so we're obviously taking the knights here We'll take the Hevermore, of course. I don't want to take any items because I haven't really got a good clue what I'm going for right now. Let's just do it like this. Uh, this guy's strong. This guy's very strong. Holy moly. This guy's got knights. This guy's got knights. So there is some competing for knight pieces right now. This guy's got a uh, Thunder Spirit, so obviously a little bit concerned about that, but we might be okay because we're going to get yeah, I think, oh no, no, we actually, we're actually not going to be okay. He's going to use his ability, yeah, okay. That was a little bit rough. I thought we, we, we were kind of on the verge of being okay there, but alas, we are not. So it's okay to rank up Frost Knight because I can sell him for the same amount that I bought him for. Kind of just going to put all of these guys in the field right now. Again, keeping my options very open where I can. Knights, let's have a look. He's got a bit of everything. Where's the other knight player down the bottom there? Again, he's also got a bit of everything. We've got a few knight players on the go. Dan, can you pass me a bottle of water? Actually, it's just behind your head. Thank you. It's alright, Rupert. Uh, this guy's going to crush me, as you can see. In general, Taboo Witcher counters goblins. And this guy had a lot of two stars. He also has the Cave Khan bonus and the Warrior bonus. So he's probably going to 100% win streak this game unless anything massive changes. I really don't want to play Glacier Knights if I can help it. Um, I'm thinking about playing like a Dragon Knight type thing. That's not bad, actually. Um, that's not bad at all. I'll, I'll take that, put him on. Take that. I'm actually going to take this. Again, I'm just picking up things that could potentially be useful. Warpwood Sage could be useful, so I'm going to take him. I don't want to take Desperate Doctor. Like I said, I'm not interested in Glacier Knights. Uh, or am I, actually? I could be interested in Glacier Six Knights. If I'm going to play Glacier Knights, I'm going to play a different Glacier Knight comp to the one that I usually play. So, we'll try it that way. Completely okay to level up one star, so two, costs, uh, two, uh, two stars, by the way. Simply because they essentially end up, um, they basically 
can be sold for the exact amount uh, amount of money that you paid for them, so not a big deal. Right, so we're Loose Streak. I think we're just going to control Loose Streak here, and depending on what we get over the next few rounds. Yeah, so we're going to sell off this, sell off this, sell off this, and we are going to buy this. We're going to buy this, buy this. I'm actually going to sell. Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna sell her, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna sell her to get to ten gold. I'm just gonna put on um put on another one of these guys. We've got we've got a lot of two stars on the sidelines right now. Actually a little bit worried that I could end up winning this one. There is a real chance that I, I think it's just the one person that I could probably end up winning. That worked out better than I hoped it would. But I still think I'm going to lose. He needs to heal. He needs to heal. Heal. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is so good. That's the one guy that could 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 uh, I could beat. And I managed to get away with it. Okay, so we're probably going to end up winning now, aren't we? I'm going to take off this guy because we've actually got something fairly strong now. So I'm having a look at what other players have got. There is one Glacier Knight player, one Knight player. Yeah, so we've got one Glacier Knight player committing, but he is he is like hard rolling, he's not really building an economy. So I'm the reason I took off a unit here is because I'm on a blue streak. I would like to at least continue that through the neutral round. Um, I'm hoping that I can kill off something. Okay. We tried, lads. Come on, come on. Can you do it? Mm. I might have been okay in that scenario, putting an extra unit on, but it is what it is. There is a very real chance that we can goblin here. That's really good. That's nice. Um, I, could take, I could take the defector, because why not? Probably just gonna add another, add another one of these. I'm not gonna face, I'm not gonna face this guy again anytime soon. I don't think. And if this guy keeps splurging his economy, I think it's very unlikely that um, he's gonna pose a threat to me in terms of getting my glacier knights, unless he gets incredibly lucky. Like this guy would have to just get insanely lucky. Like I said, I'm, I'm specifically... Oh, that's a bit rough because we could have killed off something there. I'm specifically going to be trying to play a different Glacier Knight build this game. I'd like to play Glacier Six Knights, which involves getting to level 9, which also means removing the Warlock bonus and the, the Gersis bonus, and then you bring that in at level 10. This is just a different strategy of Glacier Knights that I want to play. Um, so a Garden Knight would be relevant for me, of course. I think that we win this, but I just want to be a little bit careful. I'm going to buy these because they are relevant for me. I know it kind of kills one gold of my economy, but I have the lost streak going into the neutral round, so I'm not too worried. So beating the neutral round when you're on a lost streak is obviously a really, really good thing think that I'm going to be able to manage it. Yeah, we are. This is, this is really good. Like, actually having this win under my belt when I'm loose streaking is such a uh, such a positive move. Um, so I'm thinking this is definitely going to be a frantic mask game, but how many frantic masks can I look to try and make? I don't want any of these guys. So, I think I'm going to chill. Again, I'm, I'm keeping our galley night because I want to play the I do want to play the Six Night version. <laughs> I think we should still lose. I think we should still lose. Um, this guy might... Oh, this is going to be rough, actually, because this guy's got a pretty bad comp as well. I think we're okay, though. If I could just kill one or two things, it would be ideal. 
Should we kill? Okay, we didn't kill any. I think we killed nothing. Yeah, we killed nothing. It's close. Like, we are on the verge of killing things. If I found a priest, it would be really nice. Right. So, I'm kind of tempted to sell off something here. Um, kind of want to keep our Garlic Knight in there. Maybe we can just sell off the... Yeah, let's just... Okay, right, let's just sell off these guys for the time being. They can come in later. I don't need to worry about them just yet. Because there's only one guy competing with me for the Glacier pieces. And he doesn't have that many. So I'm... They're, 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 they're not as valuable to me as the Knight pieces. So we're going to start hyper-rolling from this point onwards. If I can continue my loss streak into the neutral round, that's like the... That's like the best case scenario for me. Uh, I'm still not beating anything though. Maybe I could be a little bit more adventurous with my uh, adding units. But yeah, I'm going to start rolling now. We're going to start rolling. That's nice. That's a good addition. Take that. I'll take the defector. Okay, so that's another. That's actually a berserker. That's actually really good. Um, I'm gonna add him. Kind of tempted to just sell off the defector again. Sorry, poor defector, and pick up the berserker here. Because he's a good addition. The berserker's always a nice addition. Yeah, so we're gonna just keep hyper rolling until the neutral round. In fact, we could just probably keep hyper rolling until round 17. Come on, just kill something, guys. Just kill something. Oh, I think we're going to kill some bits. I think, I, I, Hoping we don't win. No, we're not going to win. That's good. But we are going to kill some bits, which is good. Finally, not in the worst position in the world. Oh, that's so nice for us as well. This guy's got a great amount of um, God of Wars. Right, we need to keep rolling here. Nothing. These are not great rolls. Not fantastic rolls. I'll take that. I'll take that just to sell, potentially. I really need Hell Knights. Uh, no one's competing for Hell Knights, right? Apart from this guy. And he hasn't actually got a two-star Hell Knight. He's got two Hell Knights, but no two-star Hell Knight. This is Junior. What's, okay, so Junior has got Knights. But he's not playing the same Knight. He's playing like a Knight... Hunter build, which is fine. Just come on, get get something with your missiles. Okay, now the uh, to be which you got him. It's not a big deal though. Like I said, I, I actually am okay being on this on this health percentage. Um, I might even roll on this neutral round right now. I think it depends. Maybe I'll wait until the next round. Can't really afford to take that many more losses, that's the thing. So I should probably start investing something into experience. That's really good, that's like, that's great. That's just me basically saying this. Okay. I actually want to win this round, so I'm going to do that. I'm gonna put the Berserker on as well. This should allow me to win this round. I shouldn't have too much of an issue. I know it kind of ruins my attempted push for a um, Glacier Knight comp, or rather hyper rolling at level 5, but just having the Berserker on massively increases my chances. Have I only got, no I've got 6 on this, good. It massively increases my chances of actually beating this round, and, and if I lose the neutral round with the HP total that I'm on right now, can you actually generate a shield? Sorry, my, uh, for some reason my 2 star, sorry my 2 star Frost Knight was like, I'm not actually going to generate a shield, I'm sorry dude. Okay, this is good. I'm not going to get any items from the wolf round. That, oh, I got Kira Axe. That's really nice. Okay, we've got, we've got stuff to work with. We've got plenty of frantic masks. Now we just need to roll and find two-star Lightblade, two-star uh, uh, Hell Knight. Sell off our goblins, which are worth nine gold. So we've got nine gold in the bank, so we can always roll down to 41 if we want and sell our goblins and field the rest of our stuff. That's goblins. That's really nice. That's a Nargali Knight 2. That's Fortune Teller. That's Hell Knight, that's that. That's, yeah, this is really good. Um, okay, so let's add him, add him, add him. I think it's time 
so we can get rid of him. Um, I kind of want a two-star Hell Knight here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, we are one Frost Knight away from a level three Frost Knight. Um, we're in a really good spot. I think at this point, we obviously are looking for an Evil Knight and a Dragon Knight to make sure we have the six Knights going. Um, but we can start win streaking right now. We, we don't need to we don't need to lose, lose streak anymore. We're in a good spot. I'm not going to take the Agali Knight now because I want to focus on other things. But we, yeah, we need to start leveling up. We need to start getting back into the game in terms of levels. We've actually got a strong comp right now. There's the Evil Knight. Okay, sweet. So, sell, sell, donk, donk. Level. I'm gonna just I'm probably just gonna put on the. Uh, so this, yeah, let's, let's get the glacier bonus on. Uh, and let's start working out what we need to bar take. So we're taking. I think we're taking this Dracula mask. We're taking this wooden club. Probably take this armor. Probably take this armor as well, and then take this wooden club. Okay. So. Oh, I got a three star for us now. That's insane. Nice, thank you so much. Game. You've made my life very easy. Sweet. I'm actually just going to put some into levels right now. So I'm going to put this and this on him separately, just because. There isn't much point. So I'm putting that on him separately because there's no point combining it because you, you only get the same amount of armor, but it just gives you combine options. So I'd rather keep them separately because there's, there's no real benefit from combining them unless I get something to combine them into. Come on, three star Frost Knight. Do me, do me proud. Get your shield on. I think we're good. This is versus Strawberry. How am I doing versus Dino? He's actually beating me pretty easily. So we're still not winning versus the strongest people in the lobby. That is okay. Uh, I need to compare myself to where... Oh, that's a Hell Knight. Another, another Hell Knight. Question is, I think we need to level up. I do want to like continue thinking about rolling, but... How are we doing versus the other knights? This guy's got a two star. So we're actually doing we're actually much further ahead than the other knight player, but that's because we looked after our, our economy really well in the early game. Didn't we, Rupert? We looked after our economy really well in the early game, Rupee. Okay, this is the guy that beat me. Um, I don't really have high expectations of beating him here. He's got a lot of three stars. He's got a lot of three stars. Uh, yeah, and he's and he's he's also he is also running with a um, uh, actually that's a heal that's oh that's actually really good we beat the we beat the number one player we got very lucky with night shields there I think nuts a hell evil knight so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna bring on another hell knight at the next level uh, we are actually looking to go to level nine pretty quickly. Um, we have almost got a Hell Knight 3, so I need to just tell you about the chances for rolling. At level 8, the chances remain the same apart from 1 costs, but we've already got the only 1 cost that we need to get to level 3 is already at level 3. Um, this does change at level 9, however. 2 costs stay the same, but 3 costs go down slightly. So if I wanted to 3-star my Hell Knight or 3-star my Evil Knight, the chances of doing so would be slightly reduced at level 9, but they stay the same at level uh for two costs, so I can still keep the same chances of finding two costs on my um, on the rest of my stuff. I'm actually going to keep this as it is for the time being, because I think I want Kira Axe or Wooden Club, but it really depends on what I find. God of Thunder. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so I do want to go to level 9, right? So I'm probably just going to be putting into experience right now. The closer I get to level 9, the more likely it is I can find the 6 Knight bonus, and then I'm looking for him to be obviously at... Um, Three star, and I'm looking for her for three star. And then just finding whatever two stars I can along the way, realistically. Where's the other knight player? He's here. 
He's not strong. He's not as strong as me, though. I don't think. Okay, so one of my guys got. Was it my 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 priest got one shot here? Okay, I think we're good though. I think I think we're good. A little bit spicy, but we're good. The three. I mean, honestly, three star frost knight is doing some serious work. Not as much as my um as my light blade knight, of course, but he's still doing some work. Wait, satire beat me. Is this the other glacier knight player. Okay, he beat me, I guess, because uh, of just night shield RNG. That's a devastator. That's actually really solid. But again, I am really just want to get to level nine, so I can bring on the, um, so I can bring on the the six the six knights because they have been buffed significantly, and then we can then start looking for our, our three stars, and then we can start looking to, um, uh, then we can start looking to um, get to level ten potentially for the the warlock bonus. This is just a different way of playing it. Um, obviously, you would at level 8 usually bring on the Warlock bonus and bring on Evil Knight, but I really, really want to try out Glacier 6 Knights with the changes to 6 Knights. They're obviously, it's obviously a pretty big deal for, for Glacier players in general. Um, and obviously, Knights are really strong right now, so that's why I'm doing the particular playstyle that I'm doing. Uh, how's he doing? Saturn number 5. I'm trying to look at what he's got. He hasn't really got that many more Light Blade Knights than me, or Hell Knights than me, so we're still in a fine spot on that front. We do need to find a dra ourselves a Dragon Knight, of course, which will be slightly increased chances on the next turn. Um, I could do it now. Just bring on another Knight for the time being. Let's roll down just a little bit here. That's an Egg. Okay, I'll take the Egg for Dragon Knight, I think. It's another Devastator. Wow, if I play Goblins this game... I've been in a great spot. There we go. I'll take those. We take those. They're not bad. We could also play six Glacier, you know. Um, problem is I'd have to get rid of Hell Knight, and I just don't think that's very good. I actually just don't think six Glaciers are good when you're trying to play Knights, because you have to get rid of Hell Knight, and he's one of the biggest reasons that you actually win. So yeah, we're looking for a Dragon Knight now. And we're going to build our economy back up over this next round and the neutral round, but yeah, we're looking for a Dragon Knight. Rupee Doopy, you're okay, mate. You're okay. You're just, you're just in bed. Kind of want to take the wooden club, but I, I need more. I need more um, frantic masks to make it really worth it. There is also cause to say that I could maybe take the Kira axe for, or rather the the wooden club for the um, Dragon Knight, or rather the Magicka crystal for the Dragon Knight, because obviously I don't have dragons in this comp. So we beat this round, and then we beat the neutral round, and we're in a really good spot. This guy's in a great spot, though. We need to um, we need to get the Dragon Knight, and we need to get our two knights to, to, to three star. It's okay, Rupert. It's okay. You're doing great. You're doing great, mate. You're doing great. Mummy's gonna get you. Uh... Oh, we're gonna lose right before the neutral round. Damn it. That's really disappointing. Losing right before the neutral round. Alright, well, we're going to get to 50 gold anyway, so. It's okay, mate. Come on, man. Ah, oh, mummy's good. My wife looking at me like she's annoyed at me, but she doesn't realise what I'm trying to do is work. So I need to get these guys the two star, of course. Uh, I'm now going to be playing very conservatively with my rolling. Looking for Dragon Knight, looking to two star him, looking to three star my Hell Knight, try and get my Light Blade Knight to um, two star. Actually, my yeah. So my 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 chances of finding Light Blade Knight and Hell Knight are still the same as they've been since level six, and they will continue to be the same. But obviously, my chances of finding the others is slightly lower. Okay, so we've got. Oh, this is a Mysterio staff gives me. Barbaric Curace, or this thing, or Ghost Blade gives me damage on my Light Blade Knight. I actually think damage on my Light Blade Knight is better, so I'm going to take that and stack it on my Light Blade Knight, because if I get her to level 3, this is a really good spot to be in. Right, now we need to just roll and find uh, stuff that we need. I'm going to roll down a bit more than usual. We really do need a Dragon Knight. Okay. There we go. Uh, 
Cool. So, we have... Got the six night bonus now, which means a lot of night shields, which makes us very tanky. This is satire number five, so we should be okay. How are we doing versus junior? We need to find... Um, yeah, we need to find our two stars now, basically. Probably going to sell these guys. They're not important right now. Find a random magic crystal, which I can give to my desperate doctor, I guess. Hell Knight, that's him. Kind of tempted to do some rolling here. Okay, that's nice. That's good for level 10, but level 10's a little way off because I'm primarily focused on getting my two stars. Uh, I'm actually going to take that because that's something that gives me a massive power upgrade right now. So obviously I want Dragon... Obviously I really want Dragon Knight 2 because that makes him much more survivable. Also makes him much more viable too. Uh, I would, yeah, really like to have uh, Berserker 2. But just having Lightblade Knight 3 because I've got the Ghost Blade on her gives me a massive DPS increase. We now need to build our economy back up. Um, the only reason I would roll in any scenario is because... That's really nice. Um, cool, so we're actually on the verge of having a lot of really cool upgrades here. I would roll if I found another Hell Knight. I'd maybe roll if I found another Desperate Doctor as well. Don't know if I'd give this to anybody other than Dragon Knight. There is a, a sort of reasoning to say I could maybe give it to, to, to Hell Knight, but... Not many mage. I'm not really facing many mage comps apart from this guy. We'll have to see how that works out. This is versus Dino. Um, so this guy is running the very strong kind of like the Goblin build, but I actually think I can beat him with six knights because I can outlast him with the three star Lightblade Knight as well. I actually think I can outlast him uh, if I can get a three star Hell Knight. That massively increases my odds of winning this particular um, this particular matchup. Cut a hide armor. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to combine this on the Hell Knight and then just give him an extra cattle hide armor. Because if I can get him to three, he becomes a real tanky boy then. So not interested in that guy. I'm actually going to sell Soul Reaper for the time being to get over 12 gold because I don't really need it anytime soon. Glacier, he's got a uh, three-star Frost Knight. He's Pretty close to having a three-star Hell Knight, but nowhere near having a three-star Lightblade Knight. Actually, very close to a three-star Hell Knight. Uh, but I, I think I can beat him, to be honest with you. Just one more each of these, two more of these, and we are, we are in such a good spot. Like, we could probably win most matchups. Don't really know who to give my Hell Knight to right now. Oh my god, this guy's got a three-star uh, werewolf down. I still think I'd crush the majority of the people that I face right now. Because I just, like, Six Knights is so ludicrously strong. Yeah, we have no issues there. We've also got a very strong Lightblade Knight, of course. How am I doing versus is Killeb. Killeb. Uh, so we beat we beat Knight players in general. In general, we beat Knight players. That's uh, that's nice for him. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm not going to roll. I might roll after the neutral round. There is... Um, so there's two schools of thoughts the way that I approach this now. I can either go to level 10... Uh, and just whack in the Warlock and Igersis bonus, which would be great. But I have so many major three-star upgrades waiting, and also some big two-star upgrades waiting, that that doesn't make much sense to me. So I think I'm going to try and focus on getting the three-star Hell Knight and also the three-star... Um, uh, what's it called? Desperate Doctor. We also have a good chance of... We have a 20% chance of finding uh, four costs, which is obviously really good. Rune Hammer, Dragon Blood Axe, that's insane. Uh, I'll take that as well. So I think I can actually make... Yeah, we can. We can make that, which is really nice. Let's have a look. We can make that on him. Uh, we can also make that on him, which is fantastic. Now we need to find him at three star. That's a good start. Not interested. There we go. Three star on my... So now I just need to find some other big... Upgrades, that's insane. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Couldn't have asked him more out of a turn, if I'm completely honest with you. And actually even tempted to give him the uh, 
teleport dagger now. So I think we beat pretty much everybody in this lobby. <laughs> I know you guys hear me say that a lot, but really don't think I've got that many issues versus the uh, the players in this lobby right now, just because of the upgrades that we found here. We're looking for a three-star Desperate Doctor now. Um, but this is like a really strong form of Glacier Knights that I think beats a lot of things. He's level 9, so I think the, the best course of action for me right now is to go to level 10 and try and add in the Warlock bonus. I don't think rolling for Desperate Doctor is necessary, if I'm honest with you, uh, so I'm probably not going to do it. But I've got loads of really, really important upgrades here. This is a really big... Um, your attack cannot be dodged, so I'm, again, if I get any extra additions for my Lightblade Knight, that'd be great, but honestly, my Hell Knight is so stacked right now. Um, almost tempted to just shove him at the back here and have him teleport behind people. Like that. Because he just does, like, so much damage. He also distracts so much of the enemy team because he's got the, um, the Heart of Tarask, so he just, like, regenerates HP like crazy. Like, let's go watch. I think I'm winning my board, right? Let's just watch this board. It's absolutely insane. Gets him right past the God of War. Such a big upgrade for me. Six Knights is just in such a good spot. If you can play Six Knights with either Dragon Knights or Six Glacier Knights, you are, you're laughing, basically. This game was kind of all off the back of a really, really good piece of economy play in the early game, though. We, we, we lost streak really well. We, like, we controlled our lost streak incredibly well in the early game, which basically led us to the situation that we're in right now. Um, I think I can just leave him here, to be honest with you, because I'm going to teleport him into the back line versus most people. I should probably have a look at how they're positioned, so going right behind him. Um, he's still leaving gaps open in his... Yeah, and I don't think I'd lose to anybody else in this lobby, like not even the um, this warrior player. really don't think I even have any issues versus this warrior player. Like, we're still silencing the, the werewolf, by the way. Yeah, I think we're good. Also, Dragon Knight with uh, Dra Dragon Knight Two with Glacier bonus just deals a actually a, a good amount of damage. Magic Crystal and Shield, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna save the Magic Crystal just on the very like random off chance. That that's a Desperate Doctor, nice. Uh, I'm gonna save the Magic Crystal just on the very big off chance that we can find ourselves a. Um, actually, it's a, that's a complete line. I actually haven't got any space for it now, so I'm gonna give it to my. Dragon Knight, so he transforms more quickly. Yeah, I think we I think we have no issues in this lobby. Not even versus the Goblin player. We have too much damage. Yeah, giving it to my Dragon Knight because I want him to transform more quickly. So I'm going to teleport right behind the Goblin player. And again, they don't do enough damage to actually deal my Hell Knight. And plus, my Hell Knight has um, ability immunity. And goblins are all about abilities. They're pretty much directly uh, their their success is directly linked to their their, their sort of uh, their abilities. So if I get Hell Knight ability immunity for the first eight seconds and teleport him in, there is literally nothing that can stop me. Uh, if I'm completely honest with you, that is oh my god, another ghost blade. Uh, that's actually really good for my Hell Knight too. I'm just going to add another ghost blade over on my Light Blade Knight. Um, how close are we to level? 10. Are we pretty close to level 10? We would... S so it's, what, 3? It's 50 gold to level 10. I need 35. I can actually invest the level 10 now, so let's beat the Black Dragon King, go to level 10, add in our Warlock and Igurs' bonus, and that basically wins us the game. Don't think there's any way that I'd get beaten from that point onwards. Got a lot of work to beat the Dino guy, but yeah, I think... Um, we could slow level it, but I don't think it's worth it. What do we get from this guy? Kira Axe? Another Kira Axe. Okay. But we can make a Ghost Blade so we make a Killer Bot. That's a lot of damage on my Light Blade Knight. I might even just give this to my Light Blade Knight to increase her HP. Because she's, she's important to keep safe. Right, let's just go to um, level 10 and try and find a Soul Reaper. Well, Dark Spirit will do for the time being. Obviously, Soul Reaper would be ideal, but Dark Spirit will do. I'll take the Desperate Doctor. Never going to say no to a three-star Desperate Doctor. But yeah, I'll definitely get rid of Dark Spirit for... Um, I'll definitely get rid of Dark Spirit for... What's it called? Um, you guys know what I'm on about. 
I'll get rid of Dark Spirit for Soul Reaper, just because it's more important. Having the Agursus bonus gets a bit of armor shred down. Yeah, easy. Have no issues versus these guys. You know, having a nice time hitting that rupee. I could probably keep a Dark Spirit 2 on, but I would like the Agursus. The Agursus bonus would just massively increase my damage output. How many Soul Reapers has this guy got? He's got two two star Soul Reapers. Three star Desperate Doctor as well. He's got a lot of three stars in the works. I still think there's no way that I lose. I mean, I'd have to have the worst Night Shield RNG known to man to lose to this guy. God, the damage that I'm dealing is just. Like, the damage my Lightblade Knight is dealing is just absolutely ludicrous. He has got a Refresher Orb, I think, on his. Dark Spirit, though, which could be troublesome. Okay, so if Killeb goes out, that's good for me, right? I'll take the Dragon Knights. I mean, I might as well work towards really, like, unobtainable three stars. Twenty-five percent on my four stars. Twenty-five percent on my three stars. Um, it's okay. It's okay. All right, this guy's got two tsunami stalkers. The problem with tsunami stalker is that he just dies really quickly. Yeah, my hell knight is just equipped to beat this guy really nicely. Let's see if he's gonna win. Is he good? No, he's going to beat this guy, okay. We're going to beat him as well. I think we're, get, we're definitely getting to the uh, the neutral round here. Again, I'm just going to take like anything that comes my way at this point. Uh, I'll wait and see if I win this round and then pick up another um, hell, evil knight. I haven't found my Soul Reaper yet, which is a bit annoying. It is what it is. Has Dino, has Dino closed up? His He's not. I'm a little bit forward. There isn't really much, like... I wouldn't say there's much, like, panache to, um, to positioning your knights, to be honest with you. <laughs> this guy's helicopter's pretty stacked. Actually, I might be in trouble here. I think I am in trouble here. I think. I think I'm actually going to lose. So I need to position a bit better. Um, right. That's a bit of a wake up call. This guy's getting strong. Like, if he gets a two star Dark Spirit, I think we're kind of boned. He's also got a really strong helicopter. I need to. I definitely need to teleport my. Uh, Evil Knight a bit better than I did previously. I teleport it here. For some reason, I, didn't. I'm like, I don't know how it didn't teleport to the back. I think I teleported it in front of his Ripper. Alright, we should be able to beat these guys. No sweat. Just need some, need some good Knight Shields. Almost tempted to keep the Dark Spirit on simply because it might be better versus the, knight, the, the Goblin player, but then actually reducing the armor is really nice. How's this guy doing? Is he out? No, he's got... He's, he's not got God of Thunder yet, by the way. Great Shard, Broken Sword. I think for sure, just give that to him. I think, yeah, why not? I don't think I'm going to ever get a 3 star dragon back here, but I might as well work towards something. Okay, so I'm getting absolutely slaughtered by this god player. Has he just finally, finally found God of Thunder?
I don't think he's going to deal enough damage to my to my Hell Knight. Problem is that my Hell Knight's stuck attacking his God of War. Aldino beat me as well. Oh God, this is uh. I'm stuck on his God of War. If I get past his God of War, it might be okay. No, it's not. My Night Shield failed. Okay, I need to move this guy back. I need to beat Kileb so I guarantee myself. He's actually just going to fail again on this board. I don't think I've got the Dark Spirit Ultimate off here, but I think we're going to be okay. How am I doing versus Killer? Can we beat him? Doesn't look like it. Uh, does it look like it? Ah, the Desperate Doctor Ultimates, they're causing issues. Oh no. I need to position better versus Killeb. I don't know how. I'm, I don't know how. Ghost Prophet. That's better. That's actually better. Ghost Prophet is actually better. Um, how, who am I positioning versus this time, Killeb? I need him to go right to the back. He needs to go right to the back. In fact. Okay, so he's killed the Grand Herald. That's nice. He's actually going to start dealing damage. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I think I'm out. I actually think I'm out. Is this guy out first? This guy's not out first. This guy did well. Oh god, please just get through this and keep keep generating your shield. Please keep generating your shield. Kill the god of war. Kill the god of war. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna be this. He's, he's hexed forever. Oh we killed we killed enough. We killed enough. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna win. I'm actually gonna win. I'm actually gonna win. I'm actually going to win. Okay, this is way too tense. I don't think. I'm ever getting him to three star. I need not that. That's not what I need. None of that is what I need. I think I'm gonna have to separate out the boys. Yeah, this is this guy, right? A little bit concerned. A little bit. Con I mean, only slightly concerned. A little bit concerned. How am I doing versus Killeb? Okay, so it's literally my Hell Knight versus the world right now. As it is on this screen as well. Please, like Night Shield, just hold true. Yeah, it's not going to hold true, is it? I'm going to die. No. Night Shield held true. I've got 20 seconds to knock this guy out. I have got 20 seconds to knock this guy out. He is out. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh. Oh my god. What are we doing? This combines into something useful. Nice. This also combines into another thing that I can't put on the same unit. So I'm just going to give him <laughs> extra. I don't know if this stacks. I can't stack two of them, I don't think. Is it better to just have it like this? That's 20 and 30. It's actually better to have it like this because it's just another 80 damage. Um, this is 100% going to go on her. Oh, this is Nyan Beast, okay. What's this guy going for? He's almost got a three-star Venomancer. How do we position for this versus this guy to beat him? Better give me something good. 
dragon blood axe. None of this is particularly good. But I'll take that. Okay, so this is combinable to this. And I can put that on her. Why not? And I can put that not on him. On him, sure. Because maybe if I can get him to three stack. I really should oh, that was a soul reaper, never mind. I'll take the ghost prophet, it's probably better now. He's got a two-star dark spirit, so we're still split up versus a dark spirit, which is good. Please, night shields, just hold true. It's not this is not looking good. Uh, I'm gonna say this is looking terribly bad. In fact, I think I've just lost. <laughs> I, I can't beat the two-star dark spirit. I got absolutely crushed. Oh, that was close. It was good to beat the god player, though. Good to beat the god. I mean, I couldn't beat that goblin late game comp. It was just too strong. Ah, there we go. 